Hello everybody, uh, my name is Myrna Cunningham and a couple of days ago I decided that I needed to make some room in my wax shelves um, because I do have quite a few orders coming in um, and so I've never done a melting basket but as I was going through all of my wax I realized that I had quite a lot of wax um, so I decided to do um, a melting basket for my um, entertainment room to try to get try to go through some of the wax. Um, I do make my own wax, so some of the wax that you will see in here is my own, um, but I also do buy from other vendors too. Um, I love supporting small businesses and stuff like that, so not everything is mine, but just a forewarning, I do have some of my wax in thrown in here to melt and get through. But um, let's, so let's just kinda, I'm just gonna, show you what it is not really going to do like a smell or anything like that uh, it's just going to be like a very quick video that i wanted to do so let's just jump right into it um, so the first thing is from l3 it is orange is the new black and a salty sea air so this is scent shot here next is um squeaky peach soap and it is Tears of Light. And it is a little piggy there. Next is Jim's Daughter's Crafts Be My Valentine. Um, some of them do have dates. Um, and those are dates that I put on of when I received the item. Just so that kind of gives me um, an estimate of, you know, cure time. Um, and these are just some little hearts. Next is the Scented Squirrel uh, Caroline Study Aid, and this is in Peppermint Swizzle Sticks and Hazelnut Cappuccino. A little flower there. Next is, this, I've never heard of this vendor, um, and I've, so I've never tried them before, but I'll definitely look them up on Instagram um, and put their information um, down below. Um, I'll, any of these vendors, I will put their like either their websites or their Instagram to follow. Um, I'm more of an Instagram. I don't really do Facebook. Um, so that's why most of this will probably be like Instagram. Um, but this one is, it looks like it's California Ashes Scents. The label's um, kind of hard to read, but it's called Lazy Sunday. And this is Fresh Picked Blackberries Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Um, this looks like it, this was from a D stash, so, um, it either probably got melted in, like, transit and squished, or it was sent to me this way, which is fine, um, because it's gonna get melted anyways, but this is probably, because of, like, how damaged it is and melted, this is probably something that I'm probably gonna throw in my warmer today, um, just to kind of get rid of this bag. It does feel um, a little bit of, like, a soft wax, so that would probably explain, you know, why it got squished. Um, or and or melted but so there's that next is um from sassy girl aroma which is so sweet vanilla another uh, d stash here and then this so this is one of mine this is chocolate caramel apples and this was um a loaf that i had made, created and then chopped up Next is from Jim's Daughter. It is my favorite sweater. And it is just, it's a little smiley face. It's kind of hard to see through the bag, but it's a little, little emoji smiley face. Next, um, another uh, from a D stash that I had purchased. This is from Salt Mountain Mountains. Um, under the boardwalk, which is caramel apple, caramel popcorn, and vanilla ice cream. I've never tried um, Salt Mountain. I did just recently place from their pre-order, but I'm not going to receive it. I think it said like a six to eight week turnaround time. Um, so in the meantime, I can melt this and kind of see how I like their melts. Next is from L3, which is uh, vanilla wafers. These um twig, trig tarts, I'm sorry, um, are pretty big. Um, so I should get quite a few melts out of this large um, bar. 
Next is um, Mum Mum's Melts, um, and it is Cotton Candy Frosted Cake. Um, that's very pretty colors there for the um, glitter. Next is um, Country Candle um, Clamshell. So I did already smell this on cold, and on cold I got more of the watermelon, not so much of the strawberry. So I'm hoping the strawberry really um, comes out when it warms up because I'm I love I'm a big strawberry fan. So next is another one from me that I created. This is my own blend, and this is called Three Days. Um, lemon pound cake, strawberry patch, and marshmallow peeps. This was during um, my Easter um, that I was had. Um, now, if you notice, it has free and thank you. Um, I was going to give this um, as a free item to a customer that had purchased from me. Um, and then I had put this down before I got it packaged up. And then when I came back to finish packaging up her order, I like totally forgot where I had set this down. Um, so I didn't find it until like days later after I had, uh, shipped off her package. So I, um, went ahead and just cut it up and used it for me. Um, I did, I did end up giving her another one that I still had, um, made. Um, but yeah, so that's why there's the free and the thank you sticker on there. Next is Scented Squirrel. Um, and this is a sample and it's mermaids, Oceanside, um, volcano, which is sugar, tropical fruits, oranges, lemons, and limes. It's a little, a little heart there. This one is Gigi. So I've never heard of Gigi's. This was from a D stash. I've never heard from Gigi's, um, but I will definitely try to find her on Instagram, um, and this is in snow cake. I'm not sure what the scent notes are on this. Um, but if I find any of these that I don't, don't know what the scent notes are, um, I will try to find them and put them in the description box below. So this is just a small little bunk cake here. Next is from Knowles Farm Scents. Um, so I live in Iowa um, and they are in Illinois. So actually, I don't think that far from where I live. Um, but the, they are a vendor that I've been wanting to try. I just haven't gotten around to. So I'm pretty happy that I received this in a D stash and this is in salted butterscotch. Next is, um, Ava's country cupboard. Um, this is bubblegum birthday cake. Never tried Ava's, um, would, got it in a D stash. So. Um, I'll ha I have, I don't even think I've ever really looked into her website. I've heard of her, but I've never, there's so many vendors out there that, um, I always forget. So this kind of reminded me to maybe browse in there sometime today and see what's on there and maybe, uh, make a purchase from Ava's, um, if she's still around. I mean, who knows if there's been a lot of, uh, vendors lately that for different circumstances have had to close down. So I'll see if I can find her and maybe browse um, the website and see what she's got. Next is another one from my mom's melts, um, which is strawberry peach champagne. Another, um, L3, which is look at my buns. And this is the set notes on this are cinnamon buns, dark chocolate, espresso, cream, cheese, frosting. And it's just two little stockings there. Okay, these two are from my um, wax. I'm trying to get through some of these. Um, and so I have aloe and green clover. It is um, September when I'm filming this video. Um, I'm not a seasonal melter by any means at all. Um, so that aloe and green clover was like during, um, St. Patrick's day. So I've had it long enough that I'm like, okay, you know, it's time to probably melt it. But so yeah, that's why that's in there. Um, so I've got a Yankee candle, 
um, wax melt and this is in midnight jasmine um, I purchased the Yankee candle wax melts during their semi-annual sale I think if I'm not mistaken I had like to reach a certain limit to get free shipping um, and so these were only a dollar so I threw quite a few of these in my order so midnight jasmine from Yankee candle I've never tried Yankee candles wax melts so I'm curious to see how they're gonna perform Another one from Yankee Candle is um, Cafe Alex Al Fresco. And then uh, Jim's Daughter's Crafts. This is a fresh outdoors, which is just two um, little sticks there. Next is Ostella Salt Lord. So, um, Ostella was actually one of my very first vendors that I've purchased. Um, I, for a while, I didn't purchase from any vendors just because I make my own wax. Um, and I was trying to get through it. But the more I got into the rabbit hole of the wax world, I um, found so many vendors out there. Um, and so Ostella was one of the first vendors that I ever purchased from and um, even to this day I still purchase from her. Um, she is closing down her shop here just temporarily. Um, I think like while she like tries to find like a new home I think. Um, but um, yeah I really like Ostella's wax. Another one from Ostella is Comfort Cakes and this is um, Birthday Cake coconut milk, lavender, and palo santo. And it's just some little piggies in there. Um, this is the scented squirrel. This is in pomegranate lemonade. Um, the scented squirrel is actually, um, she actually just recently, like I think maybe even like a few days ago, she just closed down her website. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, I really liked her wax. Um, and I didn't, I wasn't able to get anything during her closing sale. Um, I got on the website like way too late. Um, so I'm kind of bummed, but, um, I think she does have like a personal page where she posts like wax related stuff. Um, so I will also link, try to link her Instagram down below. And then last but not least is my big um, bag. This is in Bubblicious bubble gum. So I found that I am not really like a bubble gum type of person. Um, and so that's why I decided to melt it downstairs in the entertainment room because I don't smell it as much. Um, but I've got quite a few um, wax melts in there, but I'd really like to get rid of just get rid of this um, to try to make room for other wax melts. Um, so yeah. So yeah, there is um, my melting basket that I have. Um, so hopefully I can get through a lot of this wax um, so I can make room to uh, put more wax melts in here. And yeah, and if there's any other vendors that um, I you didn't see in here and you really would like to recommend please leave them in the comments below I do have other vendors too that were not in this melting basket um, but I do I will be making melting baskets for each of my warmers I have about five or six warmers so um, this is just for the entertainment room so once I get the other basket melting baskets created I will make a video on those two and you will probably see some other vendors on there too but yeah, so any information regarding any of these vendors or um, their Instagram pages, I will link down below. Um, I will also link my um, Instagram because, um, yeah, like I said, I do make my own wax, but I don't just post my wax stuff. I do post um, different content from other wax vendors on my page. Um, but yeah, so if there's any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time, bye-bye.